to secure your site and also secure your data. The first plugin is Limit Login Attempt. This is a very simple plugin, and all it does is prevent computers or people who want to get access to your site through brute force attacks from actually getting access. The plugin simply limits the number of times anyone can try to log into your site. So if a computer goes to your site and tries to log in by guessing your password, it'll get blocked after a certain number of tries and won't be able to access your site for several hours afterwards. This is an extremely effective plugin and all you have to do is install and activate it and it'll just work on the back end of your site. To make it even harder for someone to hack into your site, you can also activate the Google Authenticator plugin. What the Google Authenticator plugin does is add a third field in the login panel. So in addition to username and password, you have to have an auto-generated code that's created by Google on the fly. That code will be available on your cell phone, so you need to tie your smartphone to your website using the Google Authenticator function. And then, when you log into your site, you have to bring out your smartphone and check the Google Authenticator number. This might seem like a bit of a hassle because now you have to have your smartphone around every time you want to log into your site, but it adds an almost uncrackable code to your site that makes it impossible for people to log in unless they have your username, your password, and your smartphone. Whenever you run a site online, it's very important that you link that site to Google Webmaster Tools and Bing Webmaster Tools so that if something goes wrong with your site, either there's some content on the site that shouldn't be there or something is going wrong in the indexing of the site, you're alerted right away. The plugin I'm going to recommend is an SEO plugin, but I'm recommending it because it provides you with direct links to all of these webmaster tools. So you need to go to Google Webmaster Tools and Bing Webmaster Tools and set up an account. When you set up the account, you can register your site and those services will give you custom links that you can then place inside WordPress SEO by Yoast and your site will be linked to those services. And that way you'll see what's going on with your site and if something were to happen to your site, the Webmaster Tools will tell you immediately and also help you solve the problems. I've mentioned backups previously in the course, and here I'll say it again. Whenever you have a site online, it's important that you run backups of that site, especially because your site now consists of several different elements. You have WordPress itself, you have the files you've uploaded to WordPress, and you have your database. To automate the backup process and make it as easy as possible, you can use a plugin like BackWP Up Free, which allows you to back up your WordPress site to either Dropbox or S3 or Box or even an FTP account. Or even better, you can buy a service like VaultPress, which is provided by WordPress.com, and they will not only back up your site on a constant basis, but also run daily security scans and help you if something goes wrong with your site. Finally, to control the volume of spam comments you get on your site, I urge you to install Akismet. Akismet is a four-pay service that monitors the spam on your website. Now, what exactly you end up paying for it depends on what type of site you have. If you have a personal blog and you don't have any ads and you're not earning any money from it, then you can get a personal account and you don't have to pay anything. But if you're earning money from your blog, then quite frankly, you should be paying for it because you're using this professional service to monitor the spam on your account. How much you pay depends on how much you use your blog and how much spam you get. So here you can find the right solution for you and use it. Trust me, Akismet is really great, especially if your blog gets popular, because otherwise you'll get thousands and thousands of spam comments on your site and you'll have to moderate them manually. Don't let all of this scare you. The reality is running your website with WordPress is probably one of the safest things you can do because WordPress is a great platform and it is very secure. But adding these additional plugins will make it even more secure and will make you more secure in knowing that your site is pretty much unhackable and if something were to happen, you'll be notified right away and you'll be able to revert to an earlier state of your site using backups. And that, my friends, is peace of mind.